this is actually how you use the higher time frames in confluence to your lower time frames okay so clearly here you can see we are creating lower lows and and lower highs on the four hour time frame you can see we violated structure to the downside um, below 136200 okay so now that we've seen a, an impulse to the downside, I want to see some sort of correction and exhaustion on the four hour time frame and then scale down to my lower time frames in order to look for an entry intraday. So you can see we are potentially starting a correction in the market. If this is the swing low, I want to see a retracement in and around the 50% to 60% retracement, okay? Don't overcomplicate things with the fibs, keep it very simple, but it's nice to know that there are confluences in this area. So now we're looking at some corrective price action. Let's jump down to the 15 minute time frame and observe what's actually going on. So this is the 15 minute time frame. You can clearly see at the moment, we have bullish market structure indicated by these um, higher lows and higher highs in the market, okay? So in order for us to look for shorts, um, we want to see a structural change to the downside. Okay, we need our lower time frames, our lower time frame structure to line up with our higher time frame structure and higher time frame bias, which is currently bearish at the moment. So you can see we've had some sort of reaction off this level but we're still waiting for structure to change, okay? Okay, so what we see here is the first lower high and the first lower low in terms of structure. So now this structure's starting to change. What I wanna see is a pullback, an exhaustion, and a sign that we will continue to the downside. Okay, so in terms of structure, we violated structure to the downside, bearish print. Um, we Our lower time frame structure now lines up with our higher time frame bias and higher time frame structure. Um, three to one risk to reward, target the low. Okay, price moved to one to one, stops the break even, allow secure some profits, allow a runner to run. Okay, so that's pretty much TP hit around a two to one right now. Going to secure some more profits um, and then just allow another small piece to run. Okay, so that's pretty much TP hit. That's how you use the higher time frames in confluence to your smaller time frames. Make sure your smaller time frames line up with your higher time frames in that. Your structure is the same on both. Thank you.